If you can get a girl to go on one of these shitty dates with you, I will personally give you a blowjob for free. <laughs> and I hope it happens. You know? <laughs> Hello, Brianna. How are you doing today? We met a few months ago downtown with both ASU graduates. Yeah, same birthday, same month. birthday month. Yeah. So you DM me a story reply a few weeks back asking me what fun little dive bar I was doing karaoke at. Does that ring a bell? Yeah, I think I remember that. Okay, great. Well, reason for the call today, Brianna. Something just came across my DMs that is perhaps the best thing I've seen in the past six months. If you got 60 seconds, I'd like to share it with you. You got a minute? Sure. The name of the dive bar, Bugs Bees. It is a brand new upbeat fun bar on Sunset with an incredible DJ that has both throwback and brand new music now. Right now, Brianna. Dive bar's having a fun little karaoke night. Oh my god, I've been dying to do karaoke. Exactly. We could do some karaoke. Get out there and dance and show off those pipes. Oh my god, this sounds so fun. One thing that I could promise you, Brianna. Even in this world of dating, I never ask you to judge me on my winners. I ask you to judge me on my losers because I have so few. Okay, count me in. Let's do like three songs. Three songs. That we're looking at about seven free drinks then. Sounds great. I'm so excited. Hey, Brianna. Thank you for your vote of confidence, and let's have ourselves a night out. Pick you up at 10.30. Thank you, bye. Okay, bye. Yo, how the fuck you do that? You douchebags will now be targeting the top 1% of single women in LA. I'm talking about dimes. 10 out of 10s, bad bitches. First, we pitched them a fancy dinner, drinks at a rooftop bar, dates these chicks are gonna wanna go on. Then, once we've suckered them in, we unload the dog shit, the dive bars, where we don't pay shit and still get laid. Now the key is to finalize your schedule before the weekend, because by the time you're sitting at home on Friday night swiping through Bumble, it's already too late. And you wait, and you wait, and whoever speaks first loses. I appreciate the call. I really have to give this some thought. <laughs> I um, actually might be going out with some girlfriends. Can I call you back? They don't know, right? They might say in the night, they got work in the morning, they gotta talk to their fucking girlfriends. No matter what the fuck they say, the only real objection they have is that they don't trust you guys. Why should they trust you? I mean, look at you, you bunch of sleazy douchebags trying to get laid. <laughs> so, what do you say? You mean to tell me that if I called you an Uber at 9... We hit Nobu for dinner at 9.30. We enjoyed our vodka sodas. On the rocks. With a side of creamy spice snow crab. You wouldn't be saying to me right now, Chris, that was one of the most beautiful dates I've ever been on. Let's do it again sometime. Come on, Rebecca. Come on, Ashley. We're playing this game, Kelsey? Madison. Seriously. Be real with you. You're special, Madison. Honestly, Katie. Honestly? Seriously? What, are you going to stay and watch Netflix tonight? Come I on. I barely <laughs> know you. You DM me on Instagram. We met one time at a Sunday brunch with my coworkers. I am in complete agreement. With you. you don't know me. I don't know you. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Jake Manson. Chris Duncan. Tyler Scott. Ben Miller. Recent graduate from Arizona State University. University of Arkansas, Little Rock. University of Nevada. And I'm just looking for a girl to have some fun with. I'm not going to get there by letting you stay in and have wine nights with your girlfriends, Kelsey. Okay, I will say, you do sound like a really fun guy. It's not going to be the most exciting night of your life. It's not going to be a boring night at home playing Jenga with the girls all night. But what this night will do is serve as a benchmark for future dates with me, Katie. Do you feel comfortable with me now, Rebecca? And then you'll know for sure that you finally found a guy in LA that you can trust and who can consistently show you a good time. Sound fair enough? Okay, yeah, I gotta say, this does actually sound pretty fun. So what night are you thinking? Katie, you give me one shot here on a five-star restaurant like Nobu. And believe me, Katie, the only problem you're gonna have is that you didn't eat more scallops and drink red wine. <laughs> Sound fair enough? My girls are gonna hate me for ditching them, but um, yeah, yeah, okay, let's do it. Excellent choice, Katie. Where do you wanna head to this time? Why don't we do dinner Friday at nine? Why don't we do dinner at nine and we're back to my place for a movie at 10? You know what? Fuck dinner. Let's just go straight back to your place. Excellent choice. Let me lock in that date and get back to you in a few minutes with an exact confirmation text message, Katie. Okay, thanks. I'm gonna go tell my girlfriends now. This is gonna be so I'll fun. I'll see you Friday, Kate. I'm excited. Okay, bye -bye. See you soon. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, fuck it.